New this morning, report card out about the state's tobacco policies, and that news is not good. The American Lung Association gives Connecticut a D overall in its latest state of tobacco control report. News D, is, D is never a good grade. No, not in my house. News Ace Ken Pierce, live in News 8 Control to explain the grading system and these grades. Yeah, Keith and Stephanie, here's how it goes for Connecticut. A B, a C, a D, and two Fs. Not what you want to see on your kid's report card and not what lung health advocates want to see when it comes to the tobacco policies of the state of Connecticut either. The state gets its best grade when it comes to taxes. Connecticut charges $3.90 in taxes on every pack of cigarettes, which is enough to get that B from the Lung Association. The association only gives Connecticut a C in smoke-free air. That despite the fact smoking is prohibited in restaurants, bars, schools, stores, and government workplaces. The group gave Connecticut a D in access to cessation services. Then there are those two Fs. The Lung Association failed Connecticut on tobacco prevention and cessation funding. In other words, spending money to get people to not smoke. The state takes in almost $520 million in tobacco-related revenue. The state's spending on tobacco control programs is zero dollars. The CDC says it should be spending around 32 million. The other F seems to be in a pass-fail subject. The Lung Association thinks the minimum age for buying tobacco products should be 21, just like alcohol. And any state that does not change its laws to raise that age gets an F. The ALA is encouraging states to change laws and policies. A couple bills were introduced in Connecticut last year. They did not get very far, but the association also wants to highlight the huge cost of smoking. The economic cost due to smoking in Connecticut is estimated at around $2 billion. The human cost is 4,900 people who die from smoking-related causes every year. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, over to you.